case. I'm not bragging on it, but it is a fact. I broke it in 1997 when a nurse came with the secret documents involved with the U.S. Army. My exposés of it caused families to sue in Texas and Minnesota. We had the families on. In both cases, they were listeners. I remember seeing it in the news starting in about 2002 when the lawsuit started. We would call and get the families on. they say, oh, I heard it on your show, went and had a baby. Um, they lied to me about it, blah, blah, blah. And then in another suit, the woman later went, a decade later, had heard about it, but after she'd had kids, heard about it on my show, went and tried to have DNA treatment on one of her kids. And they said, sorry, it's going to be $100,000 for treatment because we patented your specific DNA protein. Well, how'd you get my daughter's blood? That was in San Francisco, but they moved to Minnesota later. Uh, and, and they said, well, just, you know, we took the blood at birth. <laughs> black ops rule you and your family. We'll shoot black people up with syphilis all day and watch them spread it for 45 years and die with microscopic brainworms eating them. And we will take small children, black, white, old, young, it doesn't matter. We'll radiate you to death and you will worship us and you will love us because if you don't, you're anti-government scum and we'll call you racist. And we'll take black kids and give them pesticides till they die. It'll come out in the New York Daily News and no one will get in trouble. <laughs> You are six to seven times more likely to be abused in CPS custody than any other custody out there. Look it up, Just Department's own numbers. There's been articles written, The Shame of Foster Care. They'll put the average foster child on seven psychotropic drugs. And when they start having convulsions, put you on anti-convulsion drugs until you die. I've had the medical doctors on breaking it down. They will never stop until we stop them. And again, the reason they're able to sell this and get away with all this is that more and more people see the bureaucrat at the low level that has a nice story, and the bureaucrat's got a job, got a degree, got bills to pay off with two college degrees or whatever. You know, the social workers, and they just, they've seen a lot of bad stuff. Society is falling apart. They've got a lot of excuses for why they're doing what they're doing. A lot of times they'll buck the system and actually won't hurt you. But more and more, they have to follow computer directives just like doctors, just like lawyers, where it's all computerized, what you follow, the diagnosis, the treatment, what you do, or what you bureaucratically do, where you're just literally a biological android that shows up and has no free will to discern what the best justice is. Now, again, they've given the bureaucrats stuff that's outside the Bill of Rights and Constitution that's classical tyranny. So that's why we have the checks and balances, because it always gets twisted. It always gets abused. There's always a good excuse for it. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. But then once they actually get the power, ladies and gentlemen, it's hell on earth. And you're now seeing that. And the bureaucracy is growing. It's not going to stop. And there's never going to be enough money to pay off the $1.5 quadrillion. It's not even our debt. Iceland said no, arrested the bankers, and found out 93% of the debt was not the 400,000 people of Iceland's debt. It was their criminal government with the British government had signed them on to derivatives. So they just arrested the government leaders who were involved, and they're in jail now. England, the British government, you look it up in the BBC, tried to declare everyone in Iceland a terrorist four years ago when they wouldn't go along with it and wasn't going to let them fly out of the country because the main airline is British Airways out of Iceland, and they're dependent on the UK. The people said, fine, list us as terrorists. They found their humanity, their will. The globalist had to back off. Look it up. Icelanders listed as terrorists. All of them, five-year-old children, 80-year-old men, they don't care. They're going to list us all as terrorists and take everything. The level of tyranny we'll live under is the level that we accept. Now, David Knight's going to tie this into Venezuela. And the literal, you will not have drinking water now to pay the bankers the debt that you never signed on to and that dictator Chavez signed on to that isn't even feasible to ever pay back. <clears throat> loan sharking used to be illegal, folks. They just legalized payday loans in Arkansas, a place that used to have the strongest laws uh, against loan sharking. We are becoming a hell pit, a predatory hell pit by every yardstick. Now, before I go to break, I want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that we are listeners supported with the great products we sell at InfoWarsStore.com and InfoWarsLife.com. Now, I personally tend to just take it straight. But a lot of people I know take the Survival Shield Nace and Iodine X2 that just came out. A lot of people take it in water. And that's what I do. And it turns red, ladies and gentlemen, 
it's red and then turns blue on paper. Everything else turns black. Our older, weaker form that's still excellent and available turns light blue. This turns dark blue on paper. I could take this water out and dump it on paper and turn blue because it's electric crystals. This stuff is amazing. It's very simple, the solution, isn't it? The iodine conspiracy, folks. They put everything in the water and the food, the bromine, the bromide, the chlorine, everything in that same halogen table that's bad instead of the good halogen you need. Unbelievable. Consult your physician before you do this because a lot of you are so toxic like I was. Within 15 days to a month, you'll go through a detox and feel like you got a hangover for a week. But let me tell you, on the other side of that, for me, has been something akin to Valhalla. Mm. And like every blessing and everything good from God, it helps from the operation. It's incredible. It helps our listeners. It's win, win, win. Multi-sided victories. That's what I'm into. That's what I believe in. Not predatory. The pie's only this size. Screw everybody else. So InfoWarsLife.com, thank you all for your support. We're going to come back straight ahead with David Knight and Anthony Gucciardi. You know about RVs. You've heard about bunkers. But surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to SurvivalistCamps.com to learn more. That's SurvivalistCamps.com. Providing your basic needs to survive. SurvivalistCamps.com. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners. Visit FreeCovertKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and to claim yours free. It's the same knife you've seen in airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Go to FreeCovertKnife.com. Go now in the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You've got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a glue free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, and I'm going to have David Knight ride shotgun with me again. So that's coming up this Sunday, and then I'll be back by my lonesome all next week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, and also my kids grow up, and I don't even know who they are sometimes if I don't take this time off. So I appreciate all of you uh, and your support as well. But let me tell you, I think David and people like Uchiardi do a better job than I do many days. You know, I get really angry, folks, that 
there's this predatory takeover. The LAPD's announced, yeah, we're going to use drones in law enforcement for manhunts and attract the public. Yeah, we're weaponizing drones. Yeah, you know what? We have been putting stuff in the water to control you. I mean, and then I see the sheep-like public that is just such victims and have no idea what they're going under. I look at the wall Martians at the grocery store and what they're eating and what they're doing, and then I read all the globalist documents where it's planned. And imagine you come in and the state says, the doctor now isn't with the state, but they're a slave of the state. It's indentured servitude. That's totally illegal under our Constitution. And uh, they're going to have a private conversation with your child now. And we know what's in that. Well, what guns do your parents have? Do they beat you? Do you need help? Do you need an abortion? You know, you have a right to an abortion. Uh, in California, they say they can give your kids inoculations without parental consent. Because if the child wants it, they can even pay them to do it. We'll give you $200, take the shot, nine-year-old. Well, it's the same reason that a 15-year-old can't have sex with an 18-year-old. You don't have consent. You, you aren't at the age of consent. Next, they're going to have loans to 10-year-olds. I mean, this is pure criminal classic evil. And we've got to get in the face of the imperious government and let them know they're not our boss. Uh, but that's an incredible article out of Bloomberg, David, where you don't get water, you don't get medicine, and you know we got to pay the bankers their 600-plus percent profit on debts that are total scams. If you study how the IMF and World Bank works, C closing comments on that and just how big this is. Hey, a, a journalist wants a four-year request, we're going to arrest you or call Homeland Security for doing what's legal and lawful. But, oh, your kids belong to us. I mean, this is literally the system trying to break our will. Uh, I hope there's a big backlash against this. David, Anthony Gucciardi, closing comments. Well, you know, Alex, it's always about corporate profits and government control. That's what this kind of economic fascism is about. That's what we're talking about with Obamacare. They always sell it with personal stories of tragedy. They always position themselves as if they care so much about everybody, just as Hugo Chavez and the socialist uh, said that they're going to help the people against the giant corporations. Yet we learned that for 14 years, this is from Bloomberg, they were making nearly 700% profits uh, the bankers were out of Hugo Chavez, and now, as they're having economic hardship under the new president, they are depriving the citizens there of water and even medicine. They have to go across the border. They've had 42 people die since February because of these shortages. That's the way they always put it. And we see that coming up from Hillary Clinton. It was a story yesterday where she was out there talking about the uh, zero point, uh, the 0.01%, not even the 1%, you know, the 99 versus 1%. She's putting herself out there as a populist, that she's concerned for people. And yet, at the same time, she and Bill and their daughter are at Goldman Sachs headquarters, and they're collecting a half a billion dollars, $500 million from Goldman Sachs alone. for the and That's right, and they make their money off of cattle deals and insider deals where they go, oh, you won the cattle futures. Like, oh, you went to the lottery and you just won every time, yeah. Hillary. No, yeah. they're giving it to her as a payoff. That was proven with McDougal and others. And again, it's a rigged economy where these pigs control everything. Anthony Gucciardi, anything else you'd like to add? Overall, like we talked before, the turning point, the transformation only comes when these evil people show themselves in the light and they're so out in the open about everything that overall we are actually coming out and taking them down. That's right, and another way to defeat them is while there's still some remnant of a free market left, people gotta vote with their dollars and only support liberty systems, not the globalists. You Retransmission coming up GCN. now, back Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., folks. Nightly News tonight, 7. Great job to the crew, our affiliates, support our local affiliates and their sponsors.